what's going on guys today we're going to talk about the matrix the matrix is real the matrix exists and for the most part you are a battery in the matrix that's right my friends my countrymen my compatriots you are a battery in the matrix now what is this matrix and before we get into that let me explain something to you it's the social media matrix recently there's a new content creator that's in the Airbnb space and they've come on to YouTube probably Instagram with some very bold claims that they've made three million dollars in six months and I started doing some research about this because in their videos there's some dissenting comments it's like they make it seem like all this money is from Airbnb when the vast majority of the money earned and I do believe they earned this money I don't think that they're lying the, the money was earned through online education I would say 90% of that 3 million was earned through online education and not Airbnb. Now, why do I say that? This is where the analysis comes in. I have been doing what I called failed Airbnb analysis in Atlanta for months. Now, their Airbnbs are supposed to be in St. Louis. All right, here's some statistical facts that you can look up. Atlanta has 42 million visitors per year. Atlanta is the fourth most visited city in the United States. I did not know that before I looked it up. And then St. Louis gets 7.6 million visitors per year, okay? So Atlanta has almost five times as many visitors as St. Louis. And I know for a definable fact that the Airbnb business here in Atlanta, the fourth largest city has taken a hit. It has taken a hit. So to use logic, if the fourth most visited city in the country is in experiencing problems with Airbnb bookings, it would only make sense that a city like St. Louis would be suffering a similar fate. So this is why I'm coming to you with facts. Their Airbnb bookings are down. Now, this is something that I found to be really interesting because one of the things that I do, and I don't post it, I post what I call the, the social media matrix. I don't post this, I just do it for my own education. But the number of people who have created YouTube channels spreading untenable, false, downright lies in their social media YouTube channel putting out information that doesn't work is the matrix and the battery you the battery are the attendee or the person who watches this content with little regard to its work but this is something that's really really strange well it's not strange it was inevitable I was watching, I was going through the comments, and there was one person who put this comment. It makes she makes it seems like all this money's coming from Airbnb, and it's not. And there was a a little fight in the comments section where people was like, hey, leave her alone, you know, she's she's she she looks straight up. And people do not want to hear the truth and I can say with a great deal of certainty if you go ahead 
and get in the Airbnb business right now, there's a very good chance that you're going to be disappointed and you're not going to make the kind of money that you want to make. Very, very good chance. I don't care where you are because I have did some digging. Airbnb listings and bookings for places in Florida, which are close to Disney, are down. So if a the vacation hotspot such as Disney, Airbnb bookings are down, once again, but this is where the social media YouTube griff gets into it. Um, I'm going to say something. When you get used to making a lot of money, it's very hard to let go. It's very, very hard to let go. It's very hard to change tactics. And these are 20-year-olds. They're 20-year-olds. So I don't think a moral compass is embedded in these people at the moment. And that's going to be problematic going forward. I don't think that they have the moral ethics to pull back on the training to be honest about what is going on with Airbnb. Once again, I have researched Airbnb. I know what's going on with it. I know what's going on in many markets. And once again, Shelby Church, she put out a video talking about why her uh, California Airbnb wasn't making money. And a lot of people came for her because here's the thing. People don't deal with change well. Don't deal with change. And due to the stimulus economy and all of this money, a lot of people got in the Airbnb. A lot of people made a lot of money. And the money train has stopped. The money train is over, right? But a lot of people do not want to hear that. They do not want to hear anything that says, hey, you going out, leveraging yourself an Airbnb, and you are not going to make a lot of money. They don't want to hear that. So they came for Shelby, and Shelby clapped back on uh, Sean Retzenitz. He's an Airbnb educator. Because here's the thing. The economy is shifting. And there is no stimulus money in the economy like it was. So Airbnb bookings across the board, whether you're in Idaho or whether you're in Des Destiny, Florida, are down. This is an undisputable fact. Airbnb bookings are down. However, however, I do not feel that these two content creators who are making content uh, do just bought a Rolls Royce Cullinan cash. Uh, they're on that lifestyle tip. I do not feel that neither one of these content creators will be like, hey, you know, yes, we're in the Airbnb training space, but we need to tell you, Airbnb bookings across the board are down. That's, that message is not going to come. It's not coming. Because here's the thing. I've been sick for over a week. And recently, I left my house for the first time maybe three days ago. And I am a beneficiary of the YouTube, internet, social media space. And because I'm a beneficiary, I don't have to work a normal job. I don't have to work a regular job. I've been sick, my girlfriend's been sick, and we just been at home, laying in bed, ordering in. And am I worried about the bills getting paid? Nope, not worried about it at all. And once you get to that level, it is practically impossible to go back to I, I I could not go back and work a regular job there is no way on God's green earth that I could 
go back and work a regular I have not worked a job in 24 years so that that would not happen now these 20 year olds getting all this money I do believe they're getting all this money I believe that's a fact they have they're going to irrevocably alter themselves because if you've noticed what you will see with the social media YouTube graph is people move from hot topic to hot topic to hot topic you you will see this with several bigger youtubers um, Brian Young he was doing stimulus stuff because he started off with credit cards then he did stimulus stuff then he moved to crypto see once you get accustomed to making money from home with moderate effort you cannot go back to working normal regular jobs you just can't and like i said these 20 year olds i guarantee you once the airbnb education space runs dry they will adopt a new hot hustle like I know Airbnb is hot I know a lot of people are getting into it but I'm an ethical youtuber I will not lead my people into a burning house knowing what I know it's just ethically I could not say hey go ahead get a loan get yourself into some Airbnbs ethically I couldn't do it because I know what's happening with the Airbnb space I know what's happening with a lot of people who are in trouble I know what's happening a lot of people are over leveraged in the Airbnb space so why would I go ahead and put some training or something together to bring people into that space when I know there's problems in that space not a few problems a lot of problems because Here's something else that happened. Technically, we're not in a recession. Why do I say that? Third quarter, we had growth. So that broke the two consecutive quarters of net non-growth, and then we had growth. So what we would have to have for us to technically be in a recession is two or more consecutive quarters of no growth. So the clock has reset unemployment is at the lowest point that it has been since 1969 so the economy is very very strange it's really really strange right now but the YouTube matrix is very much alive and well and what I'm beginning to see is a lot of people are pushing back on the YouTube matrix like I said brand new content creator come up because I mean here's the thing I made three million dollars in the last six months and I'm 20 years old that is an incredibly powerful and compelling title it's like well, what are you doing because number one you're 20 years old you're not old enough to have years and years of experience so whatever you're doing had to work really really quickly and i see this I, I have a video on my other channel the economy today talking about the postal post service the post office is having trouble hiring people they are and they pay a really good wage i looked it up average postal worker average salary is 35 bucks per hour $62,000 per year and that's fairly good money so they're paying and the post office has benefits the post office has vacation the post office has a lot of stuff going for it and they are struggling struggling to hire people and I'm going to tell you why. It goes into what I'm just talking about. Graham Stephan is the poster boy for making millions and millions of dollars from social media. I mean, 
I'm going to keep it a buck. 2020, I made $3 million from home. It's highly addictive to make M's from the house and have all kinds of money to do whatever you want to do. I was in negotiation to buy a $2 million condo and once I did my due diligence, I found some stuff that was a little unsavory, so I backed out. But once again, to have the time, to have the money, to do exactly what you want to do, it's extremely intoxicating. So this is why the post office is having an extremely hard time hiring people. I know of someone who does TikTok and she just got like 10,000 followers and she lost her mind. Everyone wants to be a social media superstar. Everyone wants to be a social media millionaire. Graham Stephan, meet Kevin, Andre Jack, financial education, Richard Fain. Richard Fain has entered into the realm of social media millions. He's made millions of dollars from YouTube. And this is what people want because they, you know, uh, I'm rolling around and this is not a Porsche. I, I have people's like, this is a BMW X5M. I have $400,000 worth of cars in the garage, right? And I drive very well. I eat out every day. I enjoy life. And I, I have no problem paying my bills. At the moment, I have probably $350,000 in open credit with American Express. At the moment, I got one card that I'm using because I, I got a Delta card, and there's a certain way you have to use those cards. So I'm using my Platinum. I've already spent 25000 this year for the Platinum, and I'm going to spend fifty, and then I'm going to move to my Delta Reserve. But once again, everyone wants to be a social media millionaire. Be on social media get the fame the fortune but let me go ahead and break down the math and we'll tell you why it doesn't happen every year there's like a million seven kids playing high school football and when they go up to the d1 level college level that number was whittled down to 71 thousand kids so we go from a million to 7%. 7% of that million actually make it to the collegiate level. And then when we get to the pro level, 262 get drafted. So that 71,000 is whittled down to almost 300. 300. Same metrics apply with social media. But there are more social media millionaires, I would estimate, around the world, maybe five million people who make a million or more from social media. But how many people have a social media account? Hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions of people have a TikTok channel, have a YouTube channel, have an Instagram account, have a Facebook page. And Facebook Reels is paying, Instagram Reels is paying, but once again, the numbers are worse than if you were playing high school football and trying to get into the NFL. The numbers are worse because when you compare and contrast 5 million people to hundreds of millions, it's not even a full percent of the people who actually make respectable money. 
Now there's a bunch of people making a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand bucks a month, but that's not enough for them to quit their job and live a lavish social media lifestyle. It's not enough. And this is one of the reasons that so many people come hell or high water will say, do anything that they need to do to become social media famous. They will do whatever they need to do. They will say whatever, they will lie. Once again, lie. Not misrepresent the truth, not but actually lie. Because if they can get you, the battery, to watch their videos, they get paid. So they're highly, highly incentivized to not tell the truth, to not, you know, like, this is what's going on. I'm resetting my channel. I am losing people left and right, which is a good thing because I'm getting the right kind of people for my program because I'm not lying. I'm the guy who's the, the party pooper who comes in and tells you, hey, doing this little chump change side hustle ain't gonna make you no money. But see, once again, in the video where the girl put up, she made three million in six months, people were like, not wanting to hear that this guy was actually was astute enough to look between the smoke and see what was burning and to realize that the majority of that three million came from online education. It did not come from Airbnb. Once again, Terry Umanucha, whatever her name is, uh, she's a trader. And I said on a live stream, and to her credit, Terry came on and I said, Terry wasn't making this kind of money trading. And Terry actually came on and confirmed that fact, but she made more money from selling a course about trading than she actually did trading. And this is the YouTube grift this is the YouTube hustle. If you can get enough attention to sell whatever you want to sell, and here's the thing, it don't have to work. It doesn't have to work for you to make money because of the YouTube grift, the YouTube matrix. It doesn't have to work. But what I see, because right now, I do feel that we're going to enter into a deep recession this year. Maybe we will be able to pull, pull it out, pull it out, but I, I, I just have a feeling that's coming. Because one thing is a lot of companies are laying off people. A lot of people refuse to work. A lot and this 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 all factors into recessionary talks. But the thing is that all right the uh, camera overheated but here's what I got going on foundational business education that link will be in the first comment and uh, one of the things that you guys have got to understand, even though the YouTube grifters, the matrix, I think a lot of you are wasting a lot of time chasing after these less than reputable business models. And what you're doing is you're putting your, you're, you're putting your success off. Um, once again, I've reset the channel. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to take people from where they are to where they want to be. So go ahead and get into that foundational training. First link below. And I will see you guys in the next one.